Oops, uh, didn't see you guys in here. I'll come back later. <laughs> hey, going guys, welcome back. This is Storm, and this is episode 94 of my single player Tivina World. Hope you guys are going awesomely well. So, I've been working on my little igloo, um, little town here. I don't know what to call it, little village. Uh, in between episodes here, just trying to uh, redeem myself from that last episode. I had quite a few issues working in this area, so I thought, hey, let's, let's do a bit of off camera stuff and see if we can make this area. Uh, livable and, and booming and different things happening so that's what I've been doing I've uh, just brought over some wolves and I put a, a wolf a wolf <laughs> at uh, each of the igloos like near the the doorways here so let's see if we can get them a little bit I want them pretty much right up the close area to where the entrance is so something like that it'd be kind of the logical spot where you would have a, a pet dog or something if you were living in the wild like this and um, yeah I think that adds something by having one of these guys around and um, they, they are pretty noisy every now and then, they do bark, so having them over here, and this is an area that I won't come to very frequently, I would just add something to this area. And um, I think that's pretty cool, and I've certainly got a few more villages in here now. I was using um, some just temporary doors, that's why I've got all this um, broken snow around the place. This is where I just had some doors laid out, uh, just to breed up uh, the villages. And we still have that fisherman village in here somewhere that's feeding everyone. It's, uh, that's right, it was in here, so... Um, yeah, so that's working well for me. I think we've got a decent number of villagers, pretty much one of every type. We've got this librarian, and there is a cleric here somewhere. And I think we've got a couple of armorers and um, weaponsmiths as well. So uh, not a bad little cross-section there of the villagers. So that's working well. I have uh, been theming out the igloos, so rather than kind of fill them in and try and prevent mobs getting in from the outside or trying to attack from the outside here, I decided to just basically decorate the igloos. So I've kind of put some objects inside here, which should prevent uh, villagers walking up to the edges of the igloo, and they should no longer be able to get attacked really from the outside. So, kind of themed them out. This is like a brewing area, like um, yeah, just like a little brewing kind of igloo. And I've already done this one as well. This is kind of like uh, not really a farmer, but more like someone who's going to be herding stuff or riding. Uh, cows, or not cows, <laughs> but uh, horses, or whatever it is. Um, so this is kind of like a farmer, but uh, more for a cattle and that kind of stuff. And I've brought over a whole lot of other supplies that I want to decorate these other igloos. So I've got a whole lot of stuff in here. I might have an enchantment type igloo. Um, I want to have like a farmer one as well, which is like crops and flowers and that kind of thing. So we've got these other igloos which are empty. So this one, this one... And these two all need to be decked out. They're all empty at the moment. So this is where we had it originally where I brought in the extra walls. So basically remove these extra walls on the inside. Then I'll decorate them out. And I'm not sure what patterns I'll come up with yet or what kind of look I'll go with. But um, I've got all these supplies here. So I'm going to give it a go. And then I'll come back and show you guys what I've come up with. So I'm just putting the final touches on this uh, last eagle here. I've made some decent progress. Let's put that away. And what else was it going to do? I think I was going to put down a few of these potted plants, pot plants, whatever you want to call them. Um, I think that's okay. And is that it? Anything else I want to put in here? Um, that might be it. <laughs> I think that's all I've got the room in here for. So this is my enchantment type uh, igloo. I like the look of it. I might replace this chest with an edit chest at some point. And we should put a door on it. So let's do that. Get one of these. There we go. Lovely. So this one's all done, I'll show you guys the other ones. I've made um, good progress, I think. So this is my mining slash, um, I don't know, armory kind of igloo. I think this looks pretty good. And there is a, a little uh, cave system I dug down to there, which goes into a mine shaft as well, which is kind of fitting. This is our uh, farmer slash florist slash, <laughs> yeah, just anyone who likes a green thumb. This is that igloo for them. And this last one here that I worked on, this is the fisherman type uh, igloo, so kind of got some storage in here. This is where you might put in your, your fish when you come home or something. And um, there we go. So these are the themed kind of igloos. I'm pretty happy the way they have turned out. And I really like, uh, I enjoy doing that the theme kind of builds here as well. And um, something might, I might try and incorporate some of this back into the main island with some of my buildings that I've uh, created there to see if I can make them a little bit more theme based because I think this is puts a bit of focus and I'll put some um, like specific type items in the chest as well which makes you need to go into the different igloos if you want a specific item so I think that's uh, pretty helpful as well but uh, I think that's enough for the igloos for now I'm pretty happy the way it's turned out I don't think I'll put down an iron golem or put in 
whole lot of more torches or anything to try and prevent uh, mob spawning. I think I'll just try and avoid coming here at night time, so it's getting night-ish now. So as long as I sleep when I'm around the area, there shouldn't be too many problems with mobs. And uh, these villages should be pretty safe, so I think you'll be fine. Point to Mr. Cleric. Well, this seems to be a popular hangout. I'm um, not sure why. Maybe they all want to do some brewing or something. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to depart our igloo little village there for a little while, and I'm going to head back into the nether, and then I want to go all the way to the opposite end of my world and do some repairing. I need to go to the Guardian farm and uh, repair a whole lot of my tools here. Look at this pick. This pick is taking a, a beating. I it, um, the number of times I've had to fully repair it is just crazy, so um, mending is certainly paying off. Hey, you going, sheep? <laughs> if I didn't have mending, I'll be going through my picks like uh, no man's business. So I'm going to go back through the nether. The portal is just, just up in here, and then um, we'll head our way over to the Guardian Farm. So here we go, made it over here, and I thought I'd show you guys a couple of small changes that I made. How you going? Looks like these guys haven't uh, killed themselves just yet, so this fish tank's working nicely. Let's throw one of these horses into here for uh, safekeeping. <laughs> Can't escape now, can you? Alrighty, so there is a small change I did make uh, since I've been over here last. I made a change to this entranceway, just made it a little bit wider and uh, makes it a bit easier to navigate around. This was originally a... Hmm, how wide was this before? I think this might have been as width as it was before, but this certainly wasn't three blocks wide, it was two blocks wide. And uh, yeah, just made a few different changes, changed the storage around, and put in some more furnaces. So uh, nothing too crazy, it looks like I didn't have enough bone meal to finish um, making this wheat grow, but that's okay. And uh, going up to this portal, this is now three blocks wide. Not sure if I showed any of that, but uh, if not, there you go, there's some more changes that I had made. Hey, going Mr. Pig Zombie? Looks like you're still uh, left over from Halloween. <laughs> Okay, so let's go down and do some repairing. So the easiest way is down this way. And all I need to do is... Hey, guys, there's a slime here. Just to say hello. I want to uh, send some of these guardians into the nether. Uh, that's where we're going to uh, kill them with a splash potion and get some more XP. So... Some, whoa! <laughs> that's a bit weird. Something that I... Um, yeah, unfortunately at this stage I won't be able to do any more once I go to 1.11 with my latest Minecraft update because of that max entity cramming thing. Something that I guess I could change through a game rule, but never changed a game rule yet in my world, so for now I um, just roll with the punches. So whatever um, gets rolled out to the game, I just adjust my world to accommodate that. So uh, we'll have to see what I'll do about that, but uh, I'm going to let a few of these guys spawn in. Then I'll head back into the nether and uh, get some XP. I'm just heading back from the Guardian farm and I've got all my tools and my armor nicely repaired. And I've also got some cooked fish on me. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of changes I made around here. That balcony there is new and I'll just show you guys what that is all about. I did make a small set of changes uh, to this little uh, nether tunnel system that we had worked on a few episodes ago and just uh, polished it off. So that's just through this portal. And what we had here before was uh, just really had this little pathway going down and then this was just really unchanged, this area. So I've made a few changes. I put the skeleton horses up here and I like how you can see it through that little gap there. It's a nice little look, I think. And I tried to make the uh, nether rack here kind of look rather organic and um, a natural look with its kind of uh, carved out going down into uh, this harvest area, or this farm area, for the nether wart. And I've also extended this uh, pathway up and around, and this takes us up to where those skeleton horses are. So I think this is a nice little touch to this area. I did put in some stained glass here just to uh, minimise mob spawning. I didn't want any gas to spawn in here either. And um, so you can see this area from this uh, pathway here, which goes out to the Guardian Farm. And I think this is a nice little addition to this area. I didn't want to overdo it. And uh, I think it goes well. It kind of blends in nicely where you go from more formal structure. This is kind of opening it up and then you've got this kind of airy kind of uh, open fill area. And I, I really like the way it looks. And this is where I'm just uh, storing uh, the nether wart that I've got. And I've got plenty of nether wart around now, so I should never have really a shortage of that if I ever want to harvest something. I've got nether wart everywhere now in the nether, so that's a nice little touch. So another area I've been working on in between episodes is just polishing off our carrot and potato farm. And I made uh, another upgrade <laughs> since you guys have last seen it. So let's take a look. 
what looks different? <laughs> Everything should look different. So check it out. I've doubled the height. So I've basically repeated uh, this whole farming area up another level as well. So we've got, is it carrots on the bottom? I think this is carrots down here. And then I've got potatoes up the top. So I've got two farmers uh, on each level. So no problems with getting all these crops harvested now. I've got uh, plenty of supplies coming out of this farm. And um, I really like the look how this opens up. Thankfully, I had just enough room above this slower farming area to put another one exactly in the same outline above it. So that worked out quite nicely. And I do like this kind of decorative kind of look here. This is the first time I've used this red nether brick as well. And I really like the, the color combination that has. And um, unfortunately, though, I couldn't extend uh, all the way to this height up to the ceiling all the way around because I ran into some other builds. So I've got some redstone up here that this goes right up next to. So uh Yep, this is going to be as, as good as I can get. I can't really go much higher. And, but that's okay. This farm is plenty big enough. And I don't mind the walls being like this. Um, it's just not as uniform. That's okay. You don't always have to have everything perfect around your world. I think this looks okay where it's just opening up in this semicircle kind of shape here at the front. So I do like that. Um, I also did make some changes down the bottom here. So let's go and have a look. What do you think? <laughs> uh, trying to make it look a little bit cleaner. Change this uh, roof pattern design a little bit. And I've got myself in here a farmer, so this is where I can just do some direct trading with this guy. I don't have to run around to other areas of my world to find myself a farmer to trade with. And I've got all my carrots and potatoes coming into these chests, and they get sorted. Um, well, they don't even need to be sorted. I basically have carrots always going in on this side, because I've, you can tell, because I've got carrots planted here. I've got potatoes planted here, and this is where all the potatoes go. And the way I achieved that is I put in two different hopper systems up top here. So if I... This is a nice little trick, by the way, where you can easily get over that. But uh, poor old villager will never be able to escape that. And it's quite funny because um, whenever you do some trading or whenever the farmer wants to escape, it thinks it can walk out of here and it will walk up and it will stand here right like this. <laughs> so you can stare it dead in the eyes and it's um, yeah pretty funny. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, so inside here, what I did is because there is... Perhaps if I go around the back, it will be easier to show. Um, because I've got a, a two, pretty much a two block gap at the back of these collection areas, um, I could adjust where I had the hoppers. So this hopper at the back goes off to one uh, branch here. So this is the carrots here. So it'll go off to the side with carrot chests. And then the same setup above it, all I did was instead of having uh, this middle block here made out of ice, I just put a hopper there. So basically items will fall down in these two different spots. So I'll come down from the top here in one shoot for the potatoes and the other one for carrots. And that's uh, an easy way to keep them separated. And um, having the farms all the same on one level just means it's a bit easier for the farmers to manage their inventory. So you don't plug up with uh, different seeds or anything um, with their inventory. And it's just a little bit easier to keep the farmers going, I think. So pretty happy the way this has turned out as well. It um, took a little bit of time to dig all this out and replicate this above here. There is a way to get up there. Um, let's see if I remember where it is. It's just around here. And I need to eat something. And um, this is not a really a, a structured way to get up here, but it's just a little peeking <laughs> uh, look in if you want to see. So it's exactly the same setup. Um, the farmers work well, and um, this middle pit's uh, exactly the same as well, except for just changing that hopper um, so the items fall down one block sooner rather than all the way at the back. Anyway, so uh, this farm is working very well. I'm getting plenty of produce out of this, and I've already done some emerald trading. Um, what else is there? In fact, there was one other area that I had changed, which I just neglected to show you guys, and that is... Oh, here you go. This is where the, the villager comes up and stands here and stares right at you, and that's uh, pretty cool when you come in like this and you see the villager. I think that's a nice little touch in here. But um, on the back here, behind these stairs, I just put in a little enchantment area. So that's um, when you get XP from uh, doing all the trading. Whoa. Don't worry about that creeper sound. <laughs> nah, it's just TNT exploding. It's all good. Um, yeah, so uh, you can just also do some uh, enchanting out the back here as well. So that's a nice little addition, I think. So now that we're finally back on our island here, I didn't want to start on something that's going to take too long because uh, the episode would be far too long if I did that. So what I thought we could do is uh, work on this pathway. This is something that I haven't touched for quite a while now and it's certainly not complete. So it comes down here, ends here, and I kind of want to make it 
bend around a little bit and probably come up so I can emerge in with this kind of uh, bridge system here. So that is the plan. So I think we'll uh, we'll do that. This uh, shouldn't take too long. So how are we going to do this? I think if we make this bend around a little bit and maybe come up this way. So what if we did it something like up through here? Now what I thought we could do, I don't know if this is going to turn out all right, but um, let's create ourselves some slabs, some oak slabs. Uh, something like this. And I'm going to use the uh, the path block. <laughs> we'll try to anyway. So let's do, what would this look like? If I had something like this, this would come up to the path block like so. Uh, okay, so that's not so bad. Let's get rid of this. And then what we'll do? Maybe go up straight here? What do you think? Go up... Uh, Kind of want to make it bend and twist and do all those kind of things so maybe yeah okay maybe if we do this now the trick is when you're using a path block with slabs like this is that you have a slab beneath it because you could there is a small gap because this is indented down a little bit if you didn't have uh, this slab here you actually see uh, whatever block is beneath it so here you can see it's dark and in fact that doesn't look so bad but it does kind of look like it's floating a little bit so that's why I um I'd like to have a slab beneath it as well so something like that and yeah that's probably not so bad and here I need to put the slab underneath it just as I was saying I should be doing that I didn't do it um what else let's grab this put this down there there we go something like that and what will that look like from up here it's not so bad. I'll put some trees and stuff around here. So this will come up and let's see what this roughly looks like. Now I'm not going to put the whole thing as path because I want to basically start to blend in the stone into this path. That could be a bit of a challenge because it's a completely different colour and texture but that's alright for a challenge. So something like this and then we could start to Taper this out, something like this. Yeah, how does that look? I went something like that. Um, yeah, how about that? And then basically what I would do is I would take some of these blocks out and start to put in... I did bring over a whole range of blocks, so let's put down some mossy, get rid of this, get some gravel, cobblestone... Uh, yeah, we'll put in a little bit of moss and oh, I don't think I'll put any polished andesite out here, but maybe some cracked stone. Uh, what do we mainly use out here? I think, uh, yeah, basically all those blocks. So let's put down a few variants just here. Let's put down some cobblestone as well. And I probably need to blend out some further down here as well, so put some blocks down here. Down some cobblestone, gravel, how's that starting to look? I probably need a block over here somewhere. And maybe some more, let's put, put a block over here, maybe that should be gravel, something like that. What does this look like? Does that look okay? <laughs> Looks a little different. <laughs> Not sure if I'm sold on it just yet. Might have to see if it grows on me. Uh, there's some more gravel here. Yeah, it's difficult. I was seeing if I could somehow blend the two. It's, uh, now I can see why I hadn't done it before because it's um, a bit of a challenge. Uh, it's not too bad. I don't totally dislike it. I'm not sure if I like it though. That's that's the thing, so, um, hmm, not sure. You'll have to tell me what you think. Maybe it'll look better if I put in some grass amongst here. Maybe this will make it look a little bit better. Something like that. I think that looks a lot better now that it breaks this up further. In fact, I could probably, there we go. <laughs> now what do we think? How does that look? I think that looks okay. Be careful because there's uh, not very lit up around this area of the path and uh, 
Wouldn't be surprised if there's a creeper on the horizon if I'm not careful. Um, it wouldn't be the first time that I've been attacked by creepers just here. And now what? Now what? Maybe we put in some tall trees. I thought we could do that. So I've got some saplings with me. So let's see if we can plant some tall trees. I think it would be good to have a tall tree just here somewhere. So yeah, let's have it here. Probably go up a few blocks. Maybe that, is that going to be high enough? That should be high enough. Now you should know this trick, this has been in the game for quite a while now, where you put in some torches and we'll see if we can grow this, see how big this is going to be. Whoa! <laughs> that is a decent sized tree! <laughs> I don't mind that at all, I think that gives uh, quite a good look that one. Let's get rid of these blocks. Not bad. Should probably have some kind of light source around here, I'll probably put some leaves and Maybe a post with some lights just around here, but um, that looks pretty good. And maybe we'll put another tall one down here somewhere. Probably good to have one on this side. So, where should we put it? Probably right up in here, I think. So we'll go one here. Do the same trick again. Throw down the torches. see what we can grow here. Sometimes you go through so much bone meal trying to... well, <laughs> that one was... Um, I don't mind that, it's a bit shorter but uh, it's not as big as it probably should have been. Um, yes, yeah, so sometimes you go through a whole lot of bone meal trying to grow trees like this and it um, doesn't really work out. But that's not so bad, I should probably fill that in with some leaves just there. Um, now how's that looking? I should probably make this daytime so we can see a little bit better, so let's just do that. We may as well Jump into one of the bunks up in here in our tavern. Sleep through the night. Hopefully there's no mobs in here. <laughs> Looks like it's okay. And let's jump down. Let's get out of here and take a look at these trees. See what it looks like during the daytime. What size is that tree? I think that looks pretty good if we're coming out over this bridge. <laughs> yeah, certainly it's different. They do stand out. They are unique trees. I do like this one actually, this is um, I like the little height, it's like a nice little tree. I think we had another tree down here somewhere. What if we even have one that close, how would that be? Hmm, we'll give it a go. I can always move it later. Um, so let's put down these here. Do the good old torches. See if we've got enough bone meal. Sometimes it's easier if you get rid of any block around the tree as well, just so it doesn't uh, prevent any kind of uh, growing. Let's see what this looks like. It's not going to grow, is it? I know it's already not going to grow. <laughs> I'm going to Oh, there we go. Whoa, that is one ugly tree. <laughs> well, that's unique. I'll give it that, but um, yeah. At what cost? <laughs> Let's try this again. Let's see what... <laughs> Surely we can't do any worse than that last one. And now this one's not going to grow. Really? Come on, you know you want to grow. Ooh, what do we think of this one? It's a different shape. <laughs> uh, I don't... I think this might be okay. I might have to put a few leaves on the bottom here, the wood's pretty exposed there, but that's not so bad. I did set up another tree for this other side, but I'm wondering if this is too close now, judging by the size of this tree. I don't want to cram in the trees. I think having one down here will be quite nice as well. In fact, we might do that. Let's have one down here somewhere. What about down here? Yeah, definitely need to put in a few extra leaves around the place just there, but that's that's okay. Um, yeah, let's put down a tree just here. So let's get rid of these. Put down some blocks here, yep. Go up about five blocks, put down the torches. See if we can get another tall tree just here. Um, it does kind of, I think it does influence anyway, the, the which uh, pillars, the, the side that you um, you put in. Uh, the the kind of overall shape of the tree that gets grown, but um, I don't know, I've seen mixed results with that. It doesn't always behave the, the way you expect it to. And uh, check that out, that's a, a tiny tree, so... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, part of it's just experimenting to see what kind of trees uh, get created when you do this kind of thing, and uh, which ones you like. Because um, that's not so bad actually, it kind of, uh, 
I didn't want to cover the, the overall path here. Maybe this is a little too close. I wanted to have a little bit of a gap on either side of the path. And uh, then I want to make it obvious that you can come down and come down to this bridge area. I did work on this area just a little bit here as well, just uh, putting in this little step up into this fisherman's uh, hut here. And um, that's working quite nicely. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll put one of these tall trees over here somewhere. Maybe all the way out here somewhere. Yeah, maybe. What do you, what do you think? Maybe too close still? Not sure. Let's see what it looks like from the other end here. Let's go up. I'd certainly need to put some leaves over here. I did start to put in just a couple extra ones and putting some kind of root pattern down the bottom here. That might make it look a little bit nicer as well. But I am keen to see because you could see all the way down. There's basically a long stretch of uh, path just here. Let's see what this looks like. And it's not so bad. I don't mind seeing the, the tree there like that. It's good to see that... Um, and I do like the, the different looks of the trees in the background as well. I think that does add something. I should be able to still ride along here without hitting my head too much. Probably think this does need to be a tall tree though, so... I might experiment with this a little bit. Um, yeah, it can take a little bit of trial and error with building uh, or trying to <laughs> make these kind of trees. to See if uh, the trees that get generated are the ones that you like. Um, yeah, and I'll probably have to yeah experiment with this a little bit. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you guys like this episode. It's a little bit of a mixed bag one. Um, but yeah, we've got a few things done. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Cheers.